Billie Eilish is a newly popular music artist being pushed strongly by the media. And you may have noticed several agendas coming along with this, one of those being the vegan diet. There have been quite a few news articles recently over the past week on Billie's Instagram story relating to veganism, all of these articles being almost identical. This all originated from a post by Carla Sweet Vegan about an investigation at a dairy farm. Fair Oaks Farms supposedly had employees mistreating animals. This farm produces dairy for the Fairlife milk brand, which is produced, marketed, and distributed by Coca-Cola. Billy was quoted on her Instagram. I keep my mouth shut most of the time about this because I believe everyone should do, eat, and say whatever they want. And I don't feel the need to shove what I believe in in anyone's face. Billy wrote in her Instagram story, But man, if you can watch the videos that I just posted and not give a fuck that it's you contributing by literally eating the creatures that are being fully tortured just for your pleasure, I feel really sorry for you. I guess she doesn't believe everyone should be able to eat and say whatever they want if she comes out with something like this. The passive-aggressive bullshit is so hypocritical and camouflages the person's intentions. She said that while she understands meat may taste good, she said that even one person can make the change. If you have half a brain, you should know one person adds up to be smarter. The mental gymnastics that vegans use to come to these conclusions is astonishing. First of all, the problem is the employee. Either they were not following protocol, the rules, maybe they didn't have adequate supervision. So that would be the first thing to blame, to go to. More regulation of how the animals are being raised and treated. The second is that this is a dairy farm. So why would they jump to saying, stop eating meat? At the end of the day, what they should be doing is blaming these large conventional farms run by huge companies, but you know Billie Eilish is never going to say boycott Coca-Cola. It is comical how vegans will protest local farms and butcher shops, then they will go and stuff their face full of soybeans grown by these companies. Let's go back and take a look at Carla Sweet Vegan's Instagram. It becomes very clear that vegans are simply cute, cuddly animal lovers. Oink, oink. No mention of the trillions of insects being killed by pesticides and herbicides, ignoring the mice and rodents that get ground up in commercial harvesters. And you would be a clown to think a vegan cares about their food being picked by slaves in a third world country. God forbid we care about our own race. Simplifying the argument to Oh, meat tastes good, but think of the animals it is so ridiculous, I am sick of constantly addressing it. The reason we are so sick and unhealthy right now, especially in America, is because of the lack of animal foods in our diet combined with high inflammatory food consumption. Animal foods contain bodybuilding nutrients that make beautiful, happy people. When a food contains seed oils, sugar, modern wheat, other various negative things, it can become very inflammatory, damaging our health in a variety of ways. Now, Frankie Boy has been saying this for a very long time. On one hand, I hate to see people's health deteriorate further by going on a vegan diet. On the other hand, more and more people going vegan will result in the mass realization that a vegan diet is not good for one's health. Vegans don't seem to realize this. The problem with not educating people properly on nutrition will always bite you in the ass. 
because once everyone realizes that a vegan diet isn't working, that gets more people looking into the opposite. Not everyone can be brainwashed and indoctrinated uh, to insanity. Yes, you can survive on a vegan diet. The human body is very resilient, but you'll probably spend five times as much time on the toilet, need to sleep a couple extra hours every day, and every waking moment that is not spent shitting your brains out exhausted will be spent shoveling plant-based crap down your throat because you are always hungry. But you'll realize that soon enough. The two contrasting lifestyles that differentiate the mindset of a well-researched person and the average one is one who supports local agriculture, local farms, buys humanely raised animals versus the person who shops at Whole Foods and pays $1.50 for a banana. That was picked across the world. Everyone knows what side they should be on. They just aren't aware of it or don't want to admit it, whether it's because they're a vegan, whether it's because they don't want to spend money or put more effort into their food. But uh, what are you going to do? So thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon. Frankie Boy is not up at 6 a.m. for no reason. At least I hope not. If you guys would like to support me further, just check out some of the other videos on my channel. Recently, I have launched Frankie's Free Range Meat, my goal being to provide you guys with high-quality, nutrient-dense animal foods at an affordable price. So if you want to look like you were cast out of bronze on the inside, go to frankiesfreerangemeat.com to get some of Frankie's meat in your mouth. I've also recently launched Frankie's Naturals, minimally processed, minimal ingredient, hygiene and cosmetic products. So if you want to look like you're chiseled out of marble, go to frankiesnaturals.com. Check it out, guys. Thanks again for joining me and enjoy the rest of your day.